Blessings family. We are back live on Instagram. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, you guys. So I just want to be like super transparent today. Uh, I made a commitment two days ago to show up online either yesterday or today. And yesterday I had just one of those days. Um, a very emotional day, a very weird day, a day where a lot of stuff came up and a day where I felt very confused and triggered and literally not myself. And, and so I didn't record anything to yesterday. And today I'm feeling like super fluffy and super feminine and calm like I went through like the biggest storm ever yesterday and today I just feel like being soft and reading and uh, listening to podcasts and just relaxing and being with myself but I made this commitment right so this brings me back to uh, my speciality which is freaking paradox and so the paradox right now is honoring how I'm feeling and not posting online because that's naturally not what I'm feeling or uh, maybe moving through a little bit of that resistance and actually showing up even feeling like I'm feeling right now like I just want to cuddle and be by myself and relax and and you know so that's a paradox. So what a perfect opportunity to make a video to talk about the paradoxes that I feel in my life all the time. It's not about making content. It's not about I need to show up, I need to do this. It's my life, I can do whatever I want. And again, the paradox of making a commitment in a group of people and what is more important and relevant is it my commitment that i made with those people or my commitment to myself and what i'm feeling in the moment so what is my priority like what do i want and what do i really feel like doing well as you can see i'm still showing up okay i'm still showing up uh, even feeling like super fluffy and integrating uh, all the amazing magic of the last days and all the amazing turmoil of yesterday but i'm still showing up and i'm wondering to myself why am i showing up is it for you is it for me is this what i'm really called to do is it to show up or is it to rest and nurture myself and relax as I'm feeling? Or can I make room and space for all of it? Which is what I'm choosing right now. So yeah, like, I don't have any answers to any paradoxes that I, I, I perceive or that you might be perceiving. Is just what is resonating in the moment and why is it resonant in the moment so for me it's not like I'm making like this huge obligation to show up right now but I just chose to I choose to show up for myself and as you can see I'm just ranting I don't know what I'm saying but I'm just here and I'm just being present with myself and with what I'm feeling and that's okay. And since uh, my mind perceives paradoxes all the time, what a perfect excuse and reason to show up, make this video telling you that I made a commitment to other people and to myself that I would show up, but then honestly feeling that I really don't feel guided to do it so why am I showing up what is the fire what is the ignition what is making me be here I don't know I don't know 
I see many perspectives about that, but I'm here and it feels good. And now I want to kind of uh, transform this um, rant, uh, this paradoxical rant into something that might be of benefit or of use to you or to anyone or to myself in the future or whatever, you know. How do you deal with paradox? How do you deal with, for example, this situation of making a commitment? Because you can make a commitment or you can tell yourself, oh yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to read this book. I'm going to start my YouTube channel. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And maybe you don't do it out of procrastination or fear or whatever it is. And you use that and you say, oh, I'm just not feeling it, so I'm not going to do it. But maybe there's something there that sh there's like this um, inertia that you just need to move through. And as soon as you move through it, you see why you were doubting yourself of going to the gym or not going to the gym, of starting this program or not starting this program. And you get more clarity. If I keep not showing up, if I keep postponing, going to the gym, writing that book, creating that podcast, making that YouTube video, go talk with that person, do this or do that. If I keep postponing, and again, no judgment, it's okay, it's, it's, it's my journey, it's your journey, it's all okay. But what am I missing out? And am I, am I even missing out anything? But then it's like, oh yeah, I want to get strong and, and fit and like, I want to feel strong in my body. But then I'm always laying down and never moving my body. And so my mind and my human is like used to not doing it and to postpone it. And so I stopped taking myself seriously because I'm like, I'm, gonna to, I'm going to wake up at 7 a.m. tomorrow. And my brain goes like, <laughs> yes, you are. Like all the other times you said you were going to do this, but then you didn't, you know? So maybe this time I do want to show up and just feel how it feels. Feel how it feels to actually get up at that time. Feel how it feels to actually show up and make a YouTube video or an Instagram live where I'm, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. But if we never move through those inertia, th through those moments of inertia, of doubt, of paradox, then sometimes like it's like years pass, opportunities pass, life passes, and I'm still here. And again, no judgment, and again, all is perfect, and again, all of that. Then that's why, again, it's, it's a paradox. But what am I choosing for myself? What do I want? And can I honor that fully in every moment, even if it flows, even if it fluctuates, even if it changes? And so do I honor my flow of like, oh, I go to the gym whenever I want. Today I really feel like going, so I'm going. And I really want to go tomorrow, but then I wake up and I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. I just want to stay fluffy in bed or whatever it is, you know. And sometimes for me, it's okay to not go. And sometimes it's like, no, actually, you're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to get up and just move. And sometimes it feels great not to go and to give myself that space and that flow, that intuitive flow that happens in the moment, in the moment. And so from one perspective, it makes no sense to make plans for the future if you're just honoring what you feel in the moment. But it's also a very interesting experience to feel that, oh, I don't really want to go today, but still go and see what happens, what comes up, how do I feel, how do I feel before, what kind of thoughts uh, go through my mind and how do I feel afterwards? And what is 
What is more beneficial? What is my preference? And that can change from day to day. Again, one day can feel really good to not go to the gym. Of course, I'm only using these as examples. And another day, even if I don't want to go and it feels bad and I'm tired, blah, 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 it's still very beneficial to go. So again, with paradoxes, no one can tell you what is best for you. You need to feel it yourself. And it's okay. We are always watching other people talk and share and make videos and we talk with our friends and we ask for their opinions or they share their opinions and it's all beautiful we have this soup of information and perspectives and then it's up to us to tune in and to go with what is resonant in the moment and it's okay if that changes it's okay if that fluctuates and it's okay to show up whether you feel it or not. It's all okay. It's just your own choice. Now it's funny because I'm thinking about myself and I'm thinking about, oh, what if I listen to this video tomorrow and really feel what's, what it's bringing up in me in the moment? And, and that will be a fun experience. Because this is also something that I that I see and that I love I never talked about this, I think, but it's so funny, like, you know, we are all like making videos, like we are talking to people and helping people or inspiring someone else or, you know, it's hilarious with social media and with whatever it is. It's like we're talking to someone else and giving other people advice. What if it's all just for you? What if? All these videos are not about anyone who watches them, but they are about me and the process that I go through. And probably it's both because it's the process that I'm going through and it's also what people are catching and what it's resonant for them or not. So I can make any type of video and there will be people who will resonate with certain things and people who will not resonate with certain things. So again, it's up to me to decide what do I want to talk about? How do I want to show up? What do I want to do? And to keep honoring myself in the process as my emotions fluctuate and what I feel like doing fluctuates and the feedback that I receive fluctuates. But what remains? What remains? What remains and what shifts and what changes? And I don't have any answers to give. I don't have any answers to give anyone. I'm just super curious myself. <laughs> you know. So I guess this is what my rant today is about. It's about this paradox. And it's about, oh, I made a commitment yesterday that I would go have dinner with this friend. But now here I am today, one day after I made that commitment. And right now I really don't feel like going. But then again, this is so paradoxical and so hilarious because I've had many of these experiences where I made plans and then I'm like, uh, I don't want to go. I, I don't think I'm going to go. Uh. I just want to rest. I just want to, you know. And sometimes when I do go, I'm like, whoa, there were all these things trying to keep me from coming. There was this inertia. There was this, oh, I don't want, oh, no, 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 no. All these voices and all these feelings. And sometimes I see when I'm there, oh my God, look at the resistance to the light and the, and the sharings and the power that's happening right now that would never happen if I hadn't come. Right? Just as it happens the other way around. Oh, I made this plan. I'm going to this party. I'm going to have dinner. I'm going to do these things. And then on the day, I'm like, actually... I really feel like being by myself or I really feel like going somewhere else 
and honoring that in the moment. And then only when you're there, you see the magic of why you didn't go to that other place because there was this amazing thing for you to receive and to experience right now that you could have never experienced and felt if you hadn't listened to your intuition and it still had gone there. And it's funny because sometimes only when you, you're there or you're not, only then you see why you actually, was it good for you to go or was it good for you not to go? Because maybe I, I called you and I'm like, oh, I'm really feeling like uh, uh, tomorrow let's go have dinner. It's going to be amazing, blah, blah, blah. Let's go have dinner. I really feel it. I really feel it. And the other person is like, yeah, yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Let's go. Great. And maybe the day comes and I'm like, oh, I don't really feel it. I'm tired. It's raining. I'm cold. Blah, blah, blah. I'm lazy. Blah, 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 blah. I don't feel like eating. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is. And I still go. And we have this conversation that completely shifts my awareness and my perspective on something that completely shifts my life for the best. Even if it's for the worst. Or maybe I decide not to go. And I really honor that. And because I didn't go, I just channeled this whole meditation. I just wrote, uh, wrote this book. I just did all these things that I never would have done if I had gone there. So again, I have no answers to give you, just perspectives, because that's how my mind operates. And in every moment is just, you know that expression, be here now? So right now I'm here. And right now it resonates for me to say, oh, let's go have dinner tomorrow. Great, because that's what's true for me in this moment. And tomorrow, here I am. And in that moment where I'm supposed to leave my house to actually go, I actually really don't feel it. And so I honor that because it's what I'm feeling in the moment. And the paradox with that can be like, people cannot make any... Um, cannot expect anything from you because you keep shifting. So you cannot like have a program where you show up all the time at seven all every Monday, you know, because people are like, oh, sometimes she feels it, sometimes she doesn't, you know, and it can be harder for people to, to um, schedule something with you because you're just flowing. And sometimes that's so freaking perfect because people are like, oh, I can actually do that as well. I can actually go only when it feels good and actually don't go. And, and there's no need to for any compromises or commitments that don't feel aligned in the moment. That's freedom. Freedom to choose between paradox, between your perception of reality and of what you want and what you don't want in every moment. And it's something that we learn by ourselves, right? So I guess this is my sharing today. This is my sharing today. The paradox and the duality and the complement and the flow between structure and flow. Between scheduling things and just being in the moment. Because in the moment, it doesn't matter what time it is. It doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It doesn't matter what year it is. It doesn't matter anything. You're just there, fully present and honoring what is there. And sometimes we're just having fun and, and relaxing and, oh, I don't even know what time it is. But, oh, I remember I had a meeting, a Zoom meeting that, that I'm, I'm actually hosting in a few hours. Oh, my God, I need to go. You know, and this is where we play. This is where we play. It's, it's this going back and forth with perspectives and with structure and flow and with what I'm feeling in every moment. Oh, 
it's hilarious because you know there are people who do like you know there are people who work nine to five jobs for example but there are also people who are entrepreneurs or that uh, work for themselves and they don't necessarily have schedules but you can you can also be an entrepreneur or whatever you want to call it or someone that works for yourself and still have schedules and the point is what makes you feel free I know people for example who you can book readings with them or uh, sessions with them and you can choose the date the time and all of that and I know other people where you cannot do that and when they feel it like oh I can I'm open to offer a session right now then they let you know in the moment and if you're ready in the moment then it happens and it's what is your preference and this can again fluctuate and change like every day and obviously it's different when you're working with other people or when you're doing things with other people because they have their own flow and their own schedule and their own structure so how do you play with all of those energetics and all those things at the same time while honoring yourself being respectful to the other people and and it's so funny right it's it's funny i'm learning i'm learning every day <sighs> so i guess this is like the end of my rant for today but there is just something else you know like sometimes we show up in social media and we share like these specific parts of us but not these other parts of us no 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 no, no. just these parts of us sometimes we can like share the inspiration and the downloads and insight and all these amazing things and that's great but i also love when we share the other parts as well you know so that people are not confused or they think you're always like that and it's okay if you only if it resonates for you to only show up when you have moved through the the energetics that you're moving through through your emotions through whatever it is and to only show up with the gold after that what you've learned from it with the alchemy already made but it's also beautiful to show up raw and real in the middle of it just so we can be like yeah i go through it as well i freak out as well yeah yeah like it's okay and that also brings like some compassion and some like you know like less comparison and less thinking and feeling that it's only okay to show yourself when you are at your best i love when we show up as we are as well so sometimes you can see me in in very different energies right you can see me, I don't know, doing whatever it is, you know, and it's okay, it's all part of me. And I, I, I want to honor that for myself and I want to show others that it's okay. It's okay to fluctuate and to feel great and then to move through something and it's okay, we're all here together. We're all here together. And for me, at least right now, I resonate with that. I resonate with showing up uh, as my best and with downloads and blah, 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 whatever you want to call it, with love to share, with inspiration, but also show up when I'm actually moving through some energies and not feeling so great and maybe feeling confused or projecting or triggered or whatever it is. To show myself it's fucking okay and to show other people that it's fucking okay. We don't need to make such a big deal out of it. We don't need to be so hard on ourselves. We're all 
growing and learning every day. And I think that's beautiful. I think that's delicious and yummy and maybe that's what it's all about. And maybe no, and maybe I don't know what I'm saying. But that's the point. It's, it's okay, you know, with social media and with internet and with cameras on our faces and filters and blah, blah, blah. Maybe you want to use your social media as your workplace where you show like the highlights of everything you've learned so you can inspire others. Or maybe you can use those same social medias or whatever it is to do that, but also to show up in your humanness in your rawness, in the moments where you don't really want to be seen because you don't feel so great and amazing right now, but you're allowing yourself to be seen through that and to honor that in yourself. And because you're doing that, you're showing others that it's also okay. Because sometimes people see us like shining and whatever, but then it feels very human. And, and sometimes it also helps to, oh, that person also freaks out sometimes. Oh, that person also uh, cries and goes through these emotions sometimes. Wow. Then maybe it's okay that I feel it too. Maybe I'm not that broken. You know? Yeah. Oh, dude. And maybe, maybe that's just it. Maybe I just don't want to choose just a part of me to share. Maybe I just want to feel free to allow myself to share whatever I want in the moment. And some of my posts may really resonate with you and some others, you're like, what is she going through this time? But it's okay. It's okay. I honor myself. I honor my human for what she is feeling and, and moving through. I honor all of it. And by allowing myself that space and that unconditional love, then maybe I can inspire you to love yourself through your own fluctuations and your own paradoxes and, and your own emotions and your own flow. What does it mean to be real? I guess that's it for right now. Whew. If you have watched this until the end, wow, I love you. <laughs> Here we are. This was my, sh my sharing today. And it is what it is. I'm happy I showed up. Even if I was like, oh, I just want to be by myself. I just want to relax. I'm happy I showed up. So in whatever way that this resonates or works for you, I hope this blesses you in some way or inspires you in some way to love yourself and to be okay with what you're feeling and with the decisions that you are making in each moment. <sighs> Bless you, my loves. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah.